Hello, this is Derek from Emergency Reporting. Uh, this video will go over general navigation and features in our new BI Basic product. Uh, to get there, we just click on the Analytics tab in ER and on the BI Basic tab on top. Uh, this will show you separate cards for different reports. Um, I'm just going to go to the Incident Volume Report because a lot of the features will be the same um, <clears throat> across reports. I'm also going to collapse this side just so we have a little bit more uh, real estate for our demo here. Okay, so the basic lay of the land is we have our send feedback button up top. Um, we have for the report, we have our report title here, our last refresh, and then some important measures for the report. And on the left, we have um, basically menus that expand and um, collapse. And I'll go over those in detail in a second. And then in the center here, we have our report canvas. So this is all of our visuals uh, and our information here. So um, first up, let's just look at how we would filter this report. Um, we can hit the slicers button, and this will expand all of the filters that are available to us. Uh, you can change the date filters by using the calendar if you'd like, um, or you can actually just hand key information or hand key the dates if you'd like there. Uh, to unfilter, you can just click this clear selections button. And this actually unfiltered it all the way back to 2014, so I'll change that back to 18. So there we go. And then uh, the other types of filters we have in here are just drop down filters. Uh, you can just drop down and select what you'd like. Notice that um, it only does a single select, so if you'd like to select more than one, you can hold control and um, just click, and that will allow you to do multiple selections. Once you have the filter selections you'd like, you can just collapse the filter pane here. And um, now it will show, in this case, we have 90 incidents showing, and uh, the, these visuals are all reflective of those 90 incidents. To see the, the details of those, you can click on this details button here, and that will show you some information about every um, incident that's currently selected. And to collapse it, you can just collapse it. So you can use that anytime you want to see more information. You just open up details and collapse when you'd like. Um, there's also this pages button here. This pages is for uh, going to different report pages. So there are two pages in this report, and there could be more later. Um, and you can just use this to navigate there. I'm going to collapse that. And the last thing on here is this reset button. So if you find yourself, you know, well down the path of filtering and you'd like to go back to what the report looked like when you first opened it, you can just click this reset button. And this is exactly how it was with the original filters in place. So to talk about um, these visuals now, um, there's a, a lot of things going on with, with these in terms of uh, features. And I'll, I'll do my best to go over um, what options you have and, and what you can do. Um, first off, as you look at the visuals, they, they interact. They have tooltips that pop up and show you some more information. Um, you can actually click on any part of the visual or any of these visuals, and all of the visuals will update uh, with the information that you selected. So in this case, I selected January 2019, and I can see my number of incidents is 2624, and prior year was 2457. Um, this, this 2624 uh, shows up here in my totals. Um, and actually everything has been updated to reflect January 2019. And I can, I can just click separate buttons or separate uh, parts of the visual to get that new information. Um, notice that these, the filter though is not persisting. It's not, it's not allowing me to do a multiple select. And this is much like our, our other filters where we have to hold control if we want to do more than one option in our, within, our fil or within our visual. So here I've selected three months and now I can see this is the total, 7,703 months. Um, and then to unfilter, you just click anywhere, any white space on the visual, and it will go back to what the what the entire visual is showing. You can see how this is a little bit different than our filters, which would fully, uh, and I'll just show you an example, it would fully restrict all of our visuals. So this is now just showing 2019. Um, and now when I when I select these things, it and unselect, it's just still within that 2019 realm. I think it actually is including January. Yeah, it's including 2020 as well. Um, so that's that part, how, how it, you can do multiple selects within a visual. All of these visuals you're able to select uh, select portions of and have the rest of the, of the canvas update. Um, and you can do multiple selections the same way by holding control. 
even across visuals, the selection doesn't persist. So if, I, I'm, if I'm interested in administration, notice that that administration number changed, and that's because there is no persistent filter from incident series to administration. If I want to do that, I can, again, hold control and select multiple things from across multiple visuals just by holding control, and now everything is persistent. Uh, and, and now I'm deep down into my filtering, so I'd like to just reset it. So I'm just going to click that reset button again. So that's how visuals are interacting with each other, and, and it's um, it's a great way to, to better understand what you know how to slice and dice your information and, and see um, what's going on uh, under the hood. Next up are options within the within the visuals. So I'll start with the line one. Um, notice when I hover over this, I get a couple different images up top. One of them is this, which is called focus mode, and every visual has this, and it allows you to take the visual and expand it to full screen. Um, this will be more useful in some visuals than other others, but, um, but it's a great one, and you can hit this back to report button to go right back to where you were. Um, the next is this uh, more options button. Here you can do things like export the data, so this will allow you to export into CSV or Excel format. And you just hit the export button and it will download it and and it will show you the the data that's under underneath this not the actual visual but the but the numbers that are behind it um, another option is visual table visual table actually goes it's sort of like going into full screen mode or focus mode um, but it also shows the data table at the same time this is going to look a lot like the data export that i just did um, just this bottom portion here and again to return back to the report you just click this button um, the other option they have in here is Spotlight, and you can you can feel free to use any of these. It's not going to um, if you're into if you're into the report so far where you're you're not sure how to get back, you can always click your reset button. But focus mode is more for when we're talking about something. If you're in a presentation and you want to show, if you want to keep a focus on one visual, you can just go to focus mode and discuss it, and then or into Spotlight. I mean, and then discuss it, and then take off the spotlight. Um, that's what this visual has, and, and these images will, will change slightly depending on the visual. This one, for example, has all these arrows, which is which has to do with the drilling functionality of this visual. Um, you can see the expand collapse buttons on the side, which are pretty standard for um, you know what you might be used to in, in looking at a website or, or whatever. Um, our visual is getting a little crowded here, so I can go into focus mode and, and use my expand collapse buttons. Um, but also these ones here are for are for drilling as well. So if I turn this on, this actually turns on the drill mode. So if this is off when I when I select this incident series, it just filters everything to these 23 incidents. Um, if I turn this on and select this incident series, what it does is drills down to the next level uh, into here. And then if I if I want to know more, I can again click another button, and it will show the information below. Uh, so this is this is turning on a, a drill a drill mode, um, and you can hit the up button to return back to where you were, or of course you can hit the reset button if you really <laughs> want to go back to to the beginning. Um, so that's what the up and down buttons do. This button here actually allows us to go um, to to the next level without showing the top level. So if I click here, notice that my I'm going to go back up. Uh, fire and and uh, well my one series my two series three series if I just want to go to the two digit series I can click this and it will everything will go down to the two digit series I can click it again to go down to the three digit series um, and notice here we don't have we don't have the hierarchy in place um, so this will allow us to do at our at our lowest level our three digit series it'll allow us to sort right, just by clicking on the um, the headers Like that. Um, you can again sort by incident type if you want to go back to our three digit um, code there. Um, but if I do still want to see that hierarchy in place, if I want, if I don't want the three, if I still want those three digit codes to be grouped, then I can instead use this pitchfork drilling option. So this will actually keep the hierarchy in place. That way, when I'm using things like, and I'll, I'll go back into focus mode, when I'm using things like sort, it still shows, you know, the highest number of incidences in 
is in the three series and then it will show within here these are all sorted with the hierarchy in place so just a slightly different flavor of 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 interacting with the with the same information within one visual um, and then of course everything within the visual still interacts with everything else so as you are um, trying to explore this information you can you can see how it affects other visuals in your um, in your report canvas so I'm just gonna hit refresh or a reset so I can get back to where I was so that that kind of goes over the drilling features uh, and we went over this button here which is focus mode and then this here which is our um, more options this has the same three options that our line chart had which is export data and um, visual table and spotlight but it also has more sorting options in our case we saw that sorting can be done just by clicking on the column headers so this one may not be as exciting as something like this um, which doesn't have this one doesn't have um, columns to, to select but if we want to sort we can still use the more option button and we can instead sort by uh, number of incidents and we can sort descending we can change the sort options within here and and then see uh, you know we get something that's a little bit more what we'd like um, I think that about does it for general navigation uh, like I said utilize any of these buttons you see and we'd love to hear feedback uh, have a good day thanks